Hey everybody, it's Luke. I am standing here right now with the stars of Dream Girls. This is Saisha Mercado, Patrice Covington, and Adrian Warren. And uh, so, first of all, for everybody, tell us uh, who you play in the show. I play Laurel Robinson. She's the baby of the group. I play Effie Melody White. She's Effie. <laughs> I play Dina Jones. In the beginning, she's very naive, and she grows into, she blossoms into a woman. A diva. A diva. <laughs> a diva. A diva. Well, uh, these girls have already been doing interviews today, and I can't even imagine how fast your lives are moving right now. If it's not city to city, it's interview to interview, show to show, and the show itself moves so fast. Yes. How do you keep up? Is it vitamins, sleep? Uh, all of the above. Yeah, yeah. And water. Vitamins, sleep, water, steam. We all have our different regimens that we. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some of us, you know, like. The, every room we're in to be 80 degrees if we're not wrapped up in sweaters yeah. and scarves and everything. We all have a lot of different things that we do to well, keep ourselves together. And uh, I saw the show last night. Yay. So good! Yay. Thank you! So, uh, yeah, so good. I think you all deserve Tony's. Thank oh, you. Oh, yes. Thank so you. Good. So good. Yes. And um, you. one thing, uh, the reviews for this show are incredible. Okay. Coast to coast. Amazing reviews. Thank you. What do you think it is about this show that makes uh, Critics and audiences are like just go crazy. The music, the music. That's the number one thing. The score. Henry Krieger is a genius. Um, so, yeah. The There's are. not really another that I know of. Like I totally don't know everything about music or musicals, but um, I don't think there's a more iconic musical, African American musical, okay. yeah. um, that is like an opera. Like we have very few lines, but the lines are very meaningful. But like it's literally song to song, and there's so much singing. So I think that's what makes it stand out. I mean, there's about 200 wigs, over 200 wigs in our whole production, and then costumes. It's like I think with us alone, with our understudies and everything, we alone have the dreams alone have over 300 costumes. Yeah, there's with like pieces. Yeah, you mean like pieces, like yeah, that's yeah. that to them is. Mm -hmm. I think I wear over 50 pieces <coughs> mm -hmm. in Act One alone. So it's it's a lot. It is a lot. We yeah. felt like we ran a marathon by the end of the show. Especially the first act. And I was, talk, I was talking to Cheryl Lee Ralph about that. She was the original Dina. Um, so we, we all got the opportunity to meet the originals that came to um, our opening night at the Amundsen Theater in LA. And they also came you know, throughout different cities, ACL. And Jennifer and Holiday, Laura Devine, and, and uh, Cheryl Lee Ralph. They all, you know, we all got to speak to them. And I know Cheryl was saying, you have ran a marathon, and I was like, yeah, you're right, I have by the end of the show, because there's more going on backstage than it is on stage, because we're literally running to get to the next change, blowing our noses, wiping our tears away, and looking pretty for dream girls, and, you know, it's a very, very tough show. It's taxing on our bodies, on our voices, but, um, you know, we find ways to kind of balance it all out. Yeah. Well... Great. We're so happy that you're here. We're so happy you're in Nashville. Um, just, I guess, one last question. Why should Nashville come see Dream Girls? Because it's awesome. No, I mean... It's awesome. It's awesome. That's their country accent. They've been practicing their country accent. I'm from the South, so, so I had a little bit So, in your best country accent, uh, look at the camera and say... Uh, oh, God. Nashville, come see Dream Girls. Okay. Nashville, come see Dream Girls! <laughs> 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 <laughs>